is silent of your heart, God communicates to us. And there's a communicative pondering that happens in silence. Can you just bow your heads and it's a piece of impossibility and with God all things are possible. You can raise up whatever you want. As we sing Adorama, stay Domine, we just adore God in this moment. Let's bow your heads and let's adore him and let's glorify him before we incense the sacred altar. We just want to bring this to a closure, this moment of adoration and holy hour. Just open your hands. And this is a night of nights. And and give this temple highly praise. In the beginning, there was a tent, and the tent was a garden. And then man sinned. Man was greedy and wanted to play God. trouble and then in a woman's womb she became a new ark and then this child was born in front of you that means everything that God has touched now has a divine ambience and all of you have a divine future I think that deserves adoration can you adore God close your eyes and ponder never taught 2020 would have been like this what is 2021 huh every molecule you became not spiritual being you became flesh that means molecules and atoms you came to touch and that's why we adore you and you touch us just because we would become divine in you church can you sing somebody sing He wanted to have right root worship, right praise, because bad worship is not of God. Adoramos. This is your new temple. This is your new, your new ark. This is your new Eden. This is your Christ mass. and we have our candle because tonight a savior is born to you me all of us it's not about you it's not about me it's about us silence I bless you the blessed sacrament the bread of heaven
Let me call blessings. The session today, as we sing our sacrament most holy, one of the most sacred songs of our ancestors taught us. Our incense will lead us, then candles, and we go to the blessed sacraments chapel. As you stand. Just we have heard on high. Angels we have.
come to Bethlehem and see. Come to Bethlehem. Lord, we magnify, Lord, we extol your name above all names. Lord, we magnify, can the guitars praise you, Lord? Can the instruments praise you? Can the voices praise you? Can the people on the journey praise you? Lord, we glorify, Lord, we magnify. Today, a Savior will be born, Lord, and thank you for being born in us. We praise, we glorify, we magnify. Lord, we extol your name above all names. You're everything that we saw. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you always. So good to see everybody. I hope you have your social distance in there. Eh? Oh, God, so good. Can you tell your neighbor, happy what? Happy? Happy? Just say happy. Until Christmas come, amen? Happy, happy, happy. Welcome. So we just bow our heads and thank God for this day, and thank God for we've survived this year. And just close your eyes. And there was sin in the temple. And that's why John and the Baptist had to go to the desert. And um, the temple was bad and they had bad worship and the praise wasn't good enough. And God meant the temple. So can you bow your heads and how have we made this temple bad? And why do people use the church? Why do we give righteous worship? Now it's got to. Because there's something less than God. That the reason why there's Christmas is because if God didn't continuously be present to us in the flesh among us like molecules and atoms, if he didn't, we might have slipped back and slided back into nothingness. Because apparently we want to live our lives to people, things created by God and things, and they are nothing. And we have idols, and God says in the first commandment, thou shalt have no idol. Can you build a church with me, center? Not the choir, not the music, not the guitar, not the me, Jesus, God, spirit. What's the idol in your life? What's something that you can't live without? Or somebody? Or something? It could be a correct priest. It could be. We bring how we treat people because we now belong to a mystical body. Christ became body. And a whole mystical body has been inaugurated. And then we have our own body that will die and it goes to dust. And because of resurrection, you don't have to worry about anything. You have to pray unceasingly, rejoice in everything, and give thanks at all times. And this is the body you have to preserve and let it become temple. And God lives. And then creation. Even the hay in the crash had miraculous power. It used to cure cattle disease. God touched star and animals. And matter became sacred. And that's what Christmas is about. And all of us, I thank God for being here. But are we only coming at Christmas? How does it feel to be in love with somebody that only come? And then they check their phone and have all kind of other interests. And say, I love you at Christmas. Just close your eyes and bring sin before God. And together, as church, we say, I confess. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts. And what I have done through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and bow your heads, may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins and bring us to God. Comes and give us another breath. Can you touch and your heartbeat? Thank God for mercy.
long to sing this song for four weeks. We didn't sing it. Can we glorify God? There's the words of angels, shepherds glorifying when they saw the face of God. Lord, we exalt your name above all names. We just bow our heads and ponder in our hearts. We enter the liturgy of the Eucharist. Just close your eyes. Almighty of living God, you gladden us year after year as we await and hope for our redemption. Father, grant it just as we joyfully welcome your beloved son, your only son, as our redeemer this night. You may also merit to face him. We all must stay one day confidently when you come again. Not as mercy, not as glory, but judge. Who live and reign. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
There's a God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit to listen to the word of God. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord takes delight in you. About Zion, I will not be silent. About Jerusalem, I will not grow weary. Until her integrity shines out like the dawn and her salvation flames like a torch. The nations then will see your integrity all the kings your glory and you will be called by a new name one which the mouth of the lord will confer you are to be crown of splendor in the hand of the lord a princely diadem in the hand of your god no longer are you to be named forsaken nor your land abandoned. But you shall be called my delight and your land the wedded. For the Lord takes delight in you and your land will have its wedding. Like a young man marrying a virgin, so will the one who built you wed you. And as the bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so will your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Today your Savior is born to us, he is Christ the Lord. Today your Savior is born to us, he is Christ the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the His glory and this wonders among all the peoples today
second reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached, when Paul reached Antoch, Antoch and P, in Pisidia, he stood up in the, in the synagogue, held, held up a hand for silence and began to speak. Men of Israel and fearers of God, listen. The God of our nation, Israel, chose our ancestors and made our people great where they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then, by divine power, he, lead, he led them out. Then he made David their king, who he approved in these words. I have selected David, son of, G of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my, my purpose, my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God, ha God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Savior, whose coming was, was heralded by Jesus, where he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. The one is coming after me, and I am not, I am not fit to undo his sandal. This is the word of the Lord. So we just bow our heads and you heard from Paul and you heard from others. This is the gospel, the gospel, the good news and the voice of God in Jesus. Many long to hear all the prophets of old long, but they awaited Jesus. You and I have him, you have him, seen him and hear him and touch him and experience him. And he needs a response. stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. I read it from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May the words of my mind and my lips and my heart proclaim good news. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they came to live together. She was found to be with a child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of great honor and wanting to spare her publicity, he decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him. And the angel appeared in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take this woman, Mary, home as your wife, because she has conceived. And what is in her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all is to place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophets. The virgin will conceive, and the virgin will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angels had asked him to do. 
He took this woman as his wife to his home. And though he had not had intercourse with her, this woman gave birth to her son. And she named him Jesus. Brothers and sisters, good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We sing hallelujah. 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 We sit and we break the news and break the good news. Church, we start at the beginning because on this night, Christmas night, Easter night too, the church has a lot of readings. So tonight there's a reading for the vigil, there's a, right, a reading for midnight, there's a reading for dawn and during the day. So I can't preach about all and I didn't change all the homilies. I chose one and I, because what he's trying to say is that a lot of people come to church for Christmas and that's fine and that I have no one to judge. But even though we catch me for Christmas, something will catch us because the Christmas story is the, is the hinge, is the pivot, for, is the whole Bible condensed in one. I say this because you have to start with the beginning. Where were you before you were in a mother's womb? Can anybody ask, answer me, where were you before you were in a mother's womb? You were in the mind of God. Because God is out of time. Long, long billion years ago, God wanted a crystal, whether I believe it or not. God had it in mind. It's just that it's not like a candle. It's not like a goatee. It's not like a plant. It's not like a candle. Every living human being, God had a purpose and an order and a harmony and an intelligibility for to create you. And that is why in Genesis 1 verse 1, the word of God says, in the beginning, the very first line of scripture in Genesis, in the beginning. And tomorrow, Mass, that's why I preach, in John chapter 1, verse 1, it says, in the beginning. Why is John Thief in um, Genesis? Because God is always recreating and giving something new and giving something novel. Because if we don't, we will slip back into nothingness from which we came and if you look at the world, people want Santa hat maybe, and they're running a happy festival, and that's fine. And people have all kind of Christmas eating, but they don't have a Christ mass. And that's important, and I'm going to come to it again, because in the beginning, there was a word, and the word communicated. You know, once I went to the, the nuncio, and all these sush people, you know, when we go outside, and we go to sush things, mm, everybody went, and everybody, and the woman can you give me a drop? Hush now. She never already played, but she just... Amongst certain people, we feel stoosh. Can I get an amen? We could act. I mean, y'all act so well at church. Come on. If you're so good, you're looking tonight. Can I get an amen? And she says, the nuncio said to give her a drop. But who tell he to tell she to ask me for a drop? Because I wasn't giving up. She says, she left the church. I want to know why. You know me. Why you leave Catholic? She says, and I dropped her the president's house. And she says, um, you know, I leave the Catholic church. I said, girl, why? Anybody I will see her. I said, no, 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 no. The drop wasn't free. Why? She said, um, Father, relationship before religion. I said, whoa. She says, and I, I didn't give her wrong. Because if it wasn't for Jesus and my conversion, I wouldn't be a Catholic. I wouldn't be a Catholic because of Catholics. It's so sad. A lot of us use church, Papi showed the church, and our church is not a place of worship. That's why Mary's womb was a tent. In the tent is righteous worship. When you, met, when you meet Jesus, it's a relationship. It's relationship before religion. That woman taught me a story because we can have all the religion and do have a relationship with this person. And God wanted a relationship. And in relationship, you have to touch and feel. People need people. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. But in John chapter 14 says, the word became flesh. If I was he, I'd give you an injection and a vaccine and go my way. No, God wanted to be intimate. God wanted to interconnect. God wanted to be with us. 
Because he made you from the beginning of time. But we want to slip back into nothingness. And if we don't, he will slip back to nothing. He continually renewing and calling. And he says, and the word is always. I want to give you something new. Because God's is fulfillment in the person of Jesus. So God is with us. And that's fine. You're with me, with me. But with me in flesh. Is that normal? Look at our baby. It's a flesh. God's molecules and God's atoms because God is making the entire universe getting a divine ambience. You know what I mean? Even the hair, even the matter, even the solemn rum, even the punching, all that has sacredness. Because God touched matter. Other religions tell you, you know, dualistic and that evil, and I don't do this. That's not what Christmas is about. You can't overdo things. A knife is to cut meat, not to cut somebody. A cocaine is for your teeth. You know, everything has purpose. You're overdoing anything. Be a rum is a rub, you're drinking it. You're in the octave section. Everything God made was good. And that's why today he's making matter sacred. You could dance a little around. You could do this. You, know. you could go. Come on. Because God sanctified and gave a, a divine future and a divine ambience to matter. It's not a dualistic word. Only church and sacred. I don't smoke, you know. I mean, you have to be careful. Why? Be careful. Because God is, because he wanted presence. Because presence is speaking. And when he speaks, he communicates. And it is sad. Maybe. Don't say amen, men. Apparently, men folks. Men's folk don't, don't communicate. And maybe that's why Ashanti and 47 one woman is gone. Because we can't express ourselves. So we get rejection and we kill. I don't know who taught us not to communicate. But God is communicating. He's a communicator. He's a relational person. And that is why the universe is no longer dumb. It has an order. It has a harmony. It has a purpose. It has an intelligibility. All place in matter. Even if you look at a crash, and next week we'll have our crash. Every Catholic church must have a crash. Not only a Christmas tree. Because even the hay was sanctified. Apparently the hay that used in Italy, that used to cure cattle disease. It had animals in it. It had stars. The cosmos. It had shepherds, outsiders. It had Mary. It had, it had wise men, outsiders. The whole universe has a divine ambience. So not because it's matter and you're not in church, you're not sacred. As a matter of fact, the more outside of church, it can be sacred. And that is why all of science, all of health, everything you do, all of media, interconnected because God is connecting. God is not a gesture and God is not redemption and approval. God wanted to get close to us. How much closer? Because if I was God, beside a vaccine, I'd have come like a big stupid man. Can I get an amen? Gotta fix the deal. We came as a baby. To, the only thing you could do to a baby for normal people is to love a baby. All God says, can you, can you love me? In return. I have nothing to get from it, but loving me will get your love, his love in us. He's, God is, will not give up, he endures. The COVID vaccine came from science, it came from God. It's man's intelligibility, it has been touched by God. That's what Christmas is about. So we must recognize the moral and social, how he be, we too must share in that truth. And when God says in the beginning, then he says, I want to create a garden because that's harmony and I will walk in the garden. He never wanted death. He never wanted headache. He never wanted sin. He would say, all the people from long ago, all my people, come, let me walk. And he meant it to be a temple because a temple is a key word. Keep temple because John the Baptist went in the desert because the temple got desecrated. And all the things that used to happen in the temple, he says, church is a mess. I'm going outside. Like all the woman said, I left because only religion and no relationship. I'm going outside. And there, there was Eden, and it meant it to be a te temple. I want to say righteous worship again. I want to say, you know, relationship getting right. That's what temple is about. And then there was sin, and that will cause everything. You know what sin caused? Adam was greedy, and he wanted Adam. He wanted the knowledge. He, yeah, he wanted the he What's the first sin? You know what the first sin? Go home and tell you. The first thing is when we want to play God. I don't want to go to mass. I could survive. When we play in God and refuse to recognize the word in the beginning was the word and the word was God and then understand the order and the purpose and the intelligence. And all you have to do is not to try to be God. Just bass, just enter, just celebrate, just party. That's all you're asking. Can you just come in and just die, eat the food and hush? 
You want to be, you want to make the food? You want to tell me how to make the food? You're not God. Last time I checked, there's only one God. A lot of us want to play God, you know. One day Congo day. And that's why Adam grabbed a tree. No, this is what he started, the word, the word of knowledge. And he played creator thing. You're playing creator. You don't like your gender? It, it's fluid. It's my right. I don't want a child. You throw it away. I get up and I want to come and check. Mm, COVID. But I get a check. You want to run for the check. There's no COVID. I get your money. You're playing God. Don't say I tell all you. We're playing God. Last thing I checked, there's one God. Don't play God. Here. A lot of us playing God. But still, who God is, He will wake you up in the morning. Boxing morning, He will wake you up. Only because of God. That man loves perfectly, unconditionally, unconditionally, sacrificially, eternally. And what did God do? God formed a people. After Eden messed up, he said, all of you come together, priestly people, all the people, I gave you a liturgy, I gave you a candle. He wanted back in little Eden. In the beginning was a word, as he meant life to be with the glory and all that. And in the little Eden, there was a little tent because they, they, they raped them and they carried them out. I just built in a history. I, I really want to risk historical and boring. I don't care. You have to get the history of this thing. Christmas is a long time. And he says, you have a tent. A tent is that, listen to me carefully. God used to send down bread manna from heaven. Oh God, I would have taken it and sell it over. Lord, he bread it down, except Sunday. He wanted to feed his people. So you go outside and scripture says manna came from heaven. Sounds familiar? He's coming towards something I call Christ mass. He's coming, he says, I'll build a tent and in that tent my presence will come and I'll overshadow you. In the day we are cloud, in the night is fire, burning fire. This God always with us. This God will say, I will be with you. In the tent had three things. The Ten Commandments, can I hear you? And it, it had the manna from heaven, a sample of it, and had the rod of Aaron. Where Aaron? Rod of Aaron, right? The, the Ten Commandments was the law. The bread from heaven is the manna, and the Aaron is the priesthood. Now, fast forward. Holy Spirit again overshadow, and the new tent was this woman's womb. In this woman was the law. Jesus Christ, can I get an amen? In this woman was the Eucharistic Lord, the same manner. And in this woman was the priesthood of which I share. And you too, from your baptismal promise, you are a priest, prophet and king. So all this came together, the new tent. And the word, John 14 says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Repeat, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. And then, and the word became flesh. That's why you bow when we say the angels. That's why you bow to the creed because the word touched the matter. And then the law and the Ten Commandments and the food and the rod, everything came into person, Jesus Christ. So the woman who said that we Catholics haven't had a relationship, she, I don't know if she's right or wrong, because you need to know and have a relationship. You don't have to know about the law and the Ten Commandments and the food and the rod. Some people worry about the rod and the candle. It's the person now. And the person have a pain, and the person groans, and the person cries, because the person is saying, I am only continually be present with you, Emmanuel, in you, because if I slip, you go slide. Because all of us want to go back to nothingness, want to go home and eat ham. What's sweet, what's sweet and goat mouth? That's nothing. What you're running to and what you're running from is important. Just said, the glory of, of the presence is Jesus Christ, like the burning bush. So the new Adam, the new Eve, the new temple, the new Eden, is Jesus Christ. And now he's made flesh on top of that, because every molecule has been touched. Every matter, buy a crash, get a crash, because if you don't have a crash, you don't have Christmas. Because every little figure, you must look and meditate in it. And that's why the Christmas, the all is asking for us, can you enter and participate in the new temple, in the new Eden, in the new word made flesh. And all he's saying today, close. Can you go to Mass? It are people who not go to Mass on Christmas. Christ Mass. And the reason why he's touching all this is that God have a kind of soft spot. I don't know about you. You have to love what God loves. God loves people who are broken. Can I get an amen? There is a Japanese thing called Kinsusi. Is that a pronounced right? Kins, sushi. Go and, go and Google it. You know what it means? It taken all the broken things, all of we broken, all of we in a mess, and it builds back together with God's hand. You had to give him permission. 
you are clay and potter, he says, but I'm the potter, all of you. But if the clay is too brittle and too hard-hearted and too worldly and too against him and stuff, he can't do nothing or break. So you have to be subtle, you have to be small, you have to be moist. He will take all of the past and the pain and the flaws. Look at Matthew chapter 1 and see his genealogy. Matthew, told everybody distressed genes. I've come to that after. You, he can create a stronger you and more beautiful you because Jacob was a cheater. Peter was a tempter. David was an adulterous man. Noah was a drunkard. Paul was a murderer. Moses couldn't talk well. Gideon was insecure. Marion was a gossiper. Thomas was a doubter. Elijah was very moody and an attitude. Zacchaeus had low self-esteem. Abram was whole and crotchety. And Lazarus was dead. And God take all of this, the Japanese thing, and take all the brokenness, and then he's mend it with gold. That's Christmas. So God has taken all our brokenness and touched it with his very presence and gold. So God didn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. If you are great, he would never call you. And that is why God is with us, in us, in flesh. And I want to add the last. And we have a divine future. You're not a child of God. You have a divine spark in you because you share the Christmas. And you have eternal destiny. You're not a normal thing. When you're dead, it'll carry you. You have to live forever. And that is why, why did God do all this? Simply, God wanted to be close to us. What this woman long for? It's not the woman in the red dress in the front. You know she did? The, woman with the, the man with the note, he too, always in the back there. Right? He, um, nah, we don't know people's name. You have to have a relationship. So God said he wanted to be close. He wanted to be interconnected. He wanted molecules and he wanted flesh and atom. He wanted to be with us because out of nothing we came and it's very easy to slip us back. And also all of our life has a divine ambience and everything he touched now have divinization, that's a word, that God is touching us in the flesh. If we encounter this, and if now on encounter the new word and the new food, you can experience a Christ mass. Why not waste this and only come for Christmas time? Because if you can't live without somebody or you can't live with something, you will go back to nothingness. You are sliding, we are sliding. There's a song, I hope the choir knows it, I can't live if living is without you. Anybody know it? You go catching in and that means if you have somebody you can't live without or something you can't live without, we are sliding back into nothingness and not understanding we must participate and enter and celebrate and cooperate with this Christmas person, Jesus Christ. Because in the flesh, all of us, God is with us, in us, in the flesh, for divine future. Can you close your eyes, church? From a long time ago, God wanted you. A kind of withness. W-I-T-H, darkness. In case you miss it, today a Savior has been born. In us, with us, in flesh. And close your eyes and... Because of Christmas Day... Man will live forevermore. We just open our hands and sing a slow version of Hark the Herald Angel, long time ago. And thank God, because of Christmas Day, God is with us from the very beginning. The word, the logos, the presence. There was an Eden, and then there was a sin, plain God. And then there was another little Eden to, through Israel, through the tent and the tabernacle. And then Mary came and gave us a new tent and overshadowed. And then the church was born. And in our tabernacle, we have a tabernacle. In the priesthood, we have it. We have the bread from heaven and we have the wood that Adam refused. The tree of knowledge. Christmas. Everything led to Christmas, which means Christmas. Close your eyes, church. This is the hinge of grace. This is the amazing grace of Christianity. A creator becoming creature. Infinity becoming finite. Eternity becoming temporal. And muck and mud and clay and hay becoming hay. sacred. He dwelt among us. He built tent in a mess. Forcing himself in us. In a broken pumpkin vine. To tell us. 
people need people. And I'm real. So the Holy Bible said. The Bible started long ago from Genesis 1. Can you just pray this, church? Even angels and archangels and star and animal and mess and faces and urine has been sanctified. It's a kind of divinization. All the broken parts have now been mended with gold. Even Zacchaeus, even David, even Christo. To what they say, God is closer to us. Than we are to ourselves. God is closer to us than we are to ourselves. Don't run away and slip into nothingness of which we can. You see, even shepherds sanctified and they were at the peripheral, they were outsiders, they were unchurched. Even animals. Stop playing games with salvation. Stop playing games with church hug. Now hear the angels sing a new king Every human being has a divine future. Human beings have been lifted up into a new realm, a divine realm matter is not evil. The world is not evil when it comes to matter because God is close. And Christmas is not a gesture. Christmas is not approval. Christmas is not a fete. Christmas is not a season. Christmas is a way of mind, a state of mind, a state of living. will live. Will you? Will your children, God in flesh in us, has opened up a divine future and will not return until it's accomplished. Trumpet song and angels sing. Listen to what they say. Can you listen to the animal? Can you listen to the he? Can you listen to the star? Can you listen to the matter? Can you listen to the church? We hum that quietly. So much months of preparation, Lord. Some of us long for a special person who's missing in your life. A lot of us are sliding back into nothingness. He made us out of nothingness and we have a tendency to go back. And God is becoming closer so we're going to slide back. He's closer to us than we are even to ourselves. So all of life, good or bad, has a divine ambience. And flesh is not even enough. There is nothing less than God. Nothing less than God could ever satisfy us. There is nothing less than God could ever satisfy us. Because he has a future and a divine ambience promise. Lord, we pray for justice in our world. Be born in us. Lord, we pray for equitable distribution of this vaccine for poor people and poor countries. Let not the rich hoard and people die anymore. Lord, 1.6 million people died this year. We never thought last Christmas. People are locked down. We pray for safety. That there be right to worship. Lord, we pray for peace on this day that the world becomes a safe place. Every child, especially those who are running away for their life from our neighboring land of Venezuela. A baby six months had to run to the ocean and run back to an island and go to court. We need a savior. Lord, we, you are born today. We pray for justice. Especially among women, orphans, children. 
that whatever we practice at Christmas will be all year true. Lord, be born in us again in this world. Lord, we pray for hope. Where there's life, there is hope. And you brought life, flesh, molecule, atom. Lord, what a gift of a God. Strength and comfort those who are. Lord, we pray for this thing called love. You know what love is because you are love. On this day that sick people, poor people are filled with good food. And dying people tonight will be welcome into paradise. And grieving people may be consoled. Lord, we pray for this church. Adam refused this tree of knowledge, the obedience. Lord, we thank you for the word and our liturgy of the word. Lord, we thank you for the manna and the tabernacles. We capitulated everything, Lord, into this holy mass. This is your new Eden. This is your new tent. This is it. What you say is says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Thank you for this church. Good and gracious God, we bring our petitions in your heart. Whatever is in your heart, we pray. We pray for those who have died of access to prayers. We pray for Rose Marilyn, Anthony, Anna Subdeer, Wesley, Bali Ram, Subkraj, Patsy, Jose, and Mr. Sobers. We pray for healing for Miss Dotty from Jamaica, Mr. A Father Alex, Margaret, Ramjatan, Serene, Glenn Gordon, Andrew, Richard Antoine. We pray for those celebrate birthday, Valerie, Christine, and Suzanne. Anniversary, Pete and Dawn. Thanksgiving for Ian, Patsy, Pandora. And special, Savita and Armani and the Kamsa community. And all of you, the people of God trumpet sound. Can you lift up praises and make this be a make this tent and make this tent a temple of praise and righteous worship? Lord, we praise you, Lord, we glory. Can you open your lips and just say praise? Can we be a church after this heart? Can you build a temple? Can this be a tent, Lord, where we have praise, righteous praise, Lord? Lord, we glorify, Lord, we magnify, Lord, we adore you. Let this temple of right relationships, let this temple of right worship. Now let us find you. moments of silence. Mary pondered and chose to follow her dream. Mary never even budged to defend herself, though she was due for scandal. And Joseph quietly took her as his wife. And when they wanted, they had Herods to kill church and to kill the temple. He took a donkey and he was the first refugee. Imagine God as a refugee. Imagine there's no room in the inn. Imagine born in, in a manger, in mess. Imagine born in, in flesh. Imagine touching matter that was considered to be evil. So that you will come home and you and I may not slip back into nothingness from which we came. We bend towards dust. We grab in dust. Check what we grab in. What is keeping us away from Christ's mass is dust. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We pray the Nicene Creed, and we will bow at the appropriate time. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all of ages. God from God. Through him all things were made for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven. And the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Can you stop? And became man. We bow. For our sake, he was crucified on a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again from the third day. In accordance with the scripture, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, the of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. And the, the life, life of the of world to come. come. Amen. Amen. We move to the altar of the food. We move to the altar of the Eucharist. The manna in the tent has become food on the altar in the temple of God. Amen. Amen. We sit. Please give your collection. Buy your Catholic news at the back, please. Run quickly to the back. Give your donations, please. All the collection at the Christmas will be for priests. We are at a shortfall for about a million dollars because Easter we had no collection. It sustains retired priests, sick priests, studying priests, hungry priests, big mouth priests. Mr. Silly, put some checks there.
just sing faster because this is a temple you talk about we bless the lord this is a new temple this is a new adam this is a new eden this is a new house of praise this is the enfleshment of the gospel this is what we belong of a divine god is with us Para que este sacrificio, que es mío y también de ustedes, le agrade a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. El Señor reciba de tus manos este sacrificio, para alabanza y gloria de su nombre, para nuestro bien y el de toda su santa iglesia. Te rogamos, Señor, que la ofrenda de esta fiesta te sea agradable, para que mediante este sagrado intercambio lleguemos a ser semejantes a aquel por quien nuestra naturaleza quedó unida a la tuya, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. En verdad es justo y necesario. Es nuestro deber y salvación darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo. Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno por Cristo Señor nuestro. Quien en el misterio santo que hoy celebramos... Siendo invisible en su naturaleza divina, se hizo visible a, al asumir nuestra, la nuestra. Y engendrado ante todo el tiempo, comenzó a existir en el tiempo para devolver la perfección a la creación entera, reconstruyendo en su persona cuanto en el mundo ya se ha derrumbado y para llamar de nuevo al hombre caído al reino de los cielos. Por eso, unidos a los coros angélicos, te aclamamos llenos de alegría. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones enviando sobre ellos tu espíritu para que se conviertan en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan. Dando gracias te bendijo. 
Lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomad y comed todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracia de nuevo lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el sacramento de nuestra fe. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la pasión salvadora de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación, y te damos gracias porque nos permites celebrar en tu presencia. Te pedimos con humildad que nos mantengas unidos a cuantos participamos de este banquete pascual. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia peregrina en la tierra, y con tu siervo el Papa, con nuestros obispos Jason Gordon y Jaime José. Y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, lleva a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección. Y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia, admítelo a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Apiádate de todos nosotros y así, con la vida en María, Madre de Dios y Madre nuestra. Con San José. Pray for us. Con San José, su castísimo esposo, San Miguel Arcángel, los apóstoles y cuanto vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo, con Él y en Él. 
A ti, Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Jesucristo que dijiste a tus apóstoles la paz les dejo y mi paz les doy no tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados sino la fe de tu iglesia y conforme a tu palabra concédele la paz y la unidad tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos amén la paz esté con todos ustedes nos damos fraternalmente el símbolo de la paz
este es Jesucristo, el que ha nacido entre nosotros, el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a esta cena.
Just bow your heads and thank God. And in this new Eden, in the beginning from the long, long ago, in the mind of God, God wanted heaven and But we just kept slipped him, slipping back, sliding back into nothingness. And the, uh, the garden we messed up, and the tent we messed up in Israel. But because of Christmas, man, we live forevermore. Because of Easter, you can sing your hallelujah. And though it could be broken like the Japanese, he will take our brokenness and melt it and mold it and fashion it and rebuild it with gold. That's what Christmas is in the mess. A message of reconciliation and reconstruction and, and something new. He always does something new. Would you allow it to be born in you? And sing your broken hallelujah. The shepherds left their flocks by night to see this baby wrapped in light. A host of angels led them all to you. It was just that.
and to the place at which you were there frankincense and gold and myrrh they gave to you and cried out hallelujah Let me just praise God, Lord, we praise, Lord, we glorify. Lord, let everything that has worth praise you, Lord, you sanctified, Lord, let every molecule, every atom, every matter, Lord, every instrument, Lord, we praise you, glorify. Lord, thank you for Christmas. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, you are broken, Lord, everything that has breath. Just like you did in the book of Israel. And now you pitch your tent in the womb of a woman and became flesh in us. Amen. promise of Jesus. It's a divine promise. It's a, a promise of the future. It's not God in us and only and God is within us only. And not God in us and with us in flesh only. It's God in us and with us in the flesh. What a divine future. Whoever eats and drinks has eternal life. I will raise you up. Because you broke Eden and you broke the tree of life. And you broke my son. 
on a wooden cross. Still, I will give you heaven. A sacrament most holy. In spite of St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in his day of night. tiny night a creator became creature infinity became finite eternity became temporal and urine and faces became sacred and you and I had a divine future oh what a night what a dark silent holy night just close your eyes as we just offer this song and of ancient time. On this night, God pushed himself through the crack of our brokenness and gold meshed and knitted back us into one. That is why it's not Christmas only, it's Christ Mass with the altar of the tree of knowledge of the word of God and on the altar the manna that came in the back of me is a tabernacle and you're hearing somebody call priest, unworthy priest that you share into O Holy Night. Just close your, eye, close your eyes. We have a, thank God we could come out. Some countries can't. And you could still sing all Oh, holy night. Can you join us together, church? Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the Word was with God. But then the Word became flesh in Jesus. And because of Christ's Mass in this altar, and those who eat and drink, man will live forevermore because of Christmas.
Come on, your hands will come to the close of liturgy. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for the holiest of night. Be born in us. Lord, be born in our world. Keep us safe. We are in need of redemption. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning. And the word of God has power. Amen. Amen. Let there be light. Can we stand and have Lord Grant, we pray that we may draw nearer with new vigor from celebrating in the nativity of our beloved Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please sit, church. Amen. So all to serve us, stand up on Eucharistic ministers. We have a gift for you. So Michelle, can you give all those from our family, can you stand up? Rory, can you go quickly? Part of the books. Part of the books. Any family members, just stand ahead of the family because His Grace sent a book for you, a gift book. You can read and revel and eat and drink and whatever. Quickly, just anybody from our family. Everybody should come from our family, okay? So just stand up quickly. All the servers, can you run with your gift, please? No hugging, no kiss. And then afterwards, we'll give you a special one. We have plenty more books. Quick, quickly, quickly. So while we give away our books, we have our song to sing. Can we sing our budu budu? So we have a special song for you, right? Dixian wrote it. No, no, no. It's um, uh, Pastor Jordan. This is our tricky version of Santa getting doubles. Budu budu. And then anybody who wants a book, we have plenty. You can stand up if you're sure you're going to read it. Don't waste no book, eh? Don't waste it. So stand up and get up. Lisa, get a book. Right, okay. And if you want to take it for somebody else, we have plenty. Stand up, please, for an extra book. All the servers look around. If you know you want a book, that you will read a book. The angel Gabriel one day was passing by. When God Almighty, stop your wing and stop your fly. I want you, Gabriel, to go to Nazareth Ba-dum, ba-dum. and tell Miss Mary, ba-dum, 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 bye, that I find favor ba-dum, ba-dum. in shit only to bear the baby. Ba-dum, 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 bye. Anybody has one book? Free gifts. Christmas is a time when for giving. When Gabriel him. reached down, budum budum, Miss Mary saying she prays. He frightened, she so budum budum, nearly makes she fall downstairs. Don't frighten, lady, budum budum, the God Almighty sent me to tell you, budum budum, bim bye, that you find favor to bear the Savior. Anybody wants to give for somebody? Ba-dum, ba-dum, Stand up, anybody. Give a gift to somebody. We have plenty of books. At the door you'll get, okay? Please take one. We have plenty of books. Don't go and sell it, please. Well, Mary, watch him. Ba-dum, ba-dum, with a frog Stand up, let's go. Face. What make it worse was ba-dum, ba-dum, when he calls she full of grace. I have my mister. Ba-dum, ba-dum. His name is Joseph. Ba-dum, ba-dum. Get married, but um, but um, bim bye. How can this happen? He does respect me. I am a virgin, but um, but um, but um, but um, bim bye. The 
time is near now. Budum budum, if you only answer me. Please get your cartridge news. Come to set his people free. Any extra cartridge news, Michelle? Erica. Please give it away. Ten dollars. Please raise your hands for Catholic news. And save his people. Budum 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 bimbai. Amen. Budum budum bimbai. Please take your Catholic news. We can't take back these. We're not going home until all sold quickly. Ten dollars is a keepsake. Is a give. Is a help. You know, formation. Give a neighbor. Give a friend. That's a nice gift to give somebody. Erica, Erica, just tell me when all is sold so we can go home. Don't rush her, please. Just a few more. You can get ready. You can buy one for your neighbor. Please try and give away everything this Christmas. Marilyn, you got two? Good. Margaret, you took three for your neighbors. Silly. The Lord be with you. And bow your heads and say amen for this great, this great solemnity. May God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven away darkness from this world and by the glorious birth has illuminated with his glory and light this holy night, drive away darkness from your life, darkness of evil and darkness of vice, illuminate your heart with the light of virtue. May God who filled the entire world with great joy this night by his son becoming flesh, saving birth, announced to mere shepherds by the angel, may you fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God who by the incarnation brought together earthly and heavenly realm and made it divine and fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, make you sharers, participators with the church in heaven. Amen. And bow your heads on this great solemnity. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We have a gift for you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. We have our nice Christmas virtual party. Please tune on to Facebook, 4 o'clock. It's called Trini Navidad, isn't it? Whatever. Okay. Please, what time tomorrow? And what time is Mass this weekend? Remember, it's two sets of obligation, your Sabbath obligation and your solemnity. So Saturday evening and Sunday normal Mass for the weekend. Amen. Next week, Sunday, the third, I think, we have a back to school Christmas is Christmas virtual concert again. So every Sunday at 4 o'clock on Facebook, we have our fet. Get your drink, get your, your drink, whatever. And we'll be zooming in and zooming back out to show people who are enjoying us. Amen? Amen, church. All year's night, we have mass here at 10, right? Please. Okay, church, one little quick note. Please, please, can I beg you this time? We cannot congregate. I know it's tempting. You know me, I like to touch up. And, right? So we're going to go out and go straight to your car and go home. There's some police outside looking. And they will close us down if people monitoring this, okay? For the others. I know there's temptation. Please comply to the three W's. Wear your mask. Wash your hand. Watch your distance. Amen? Have a wonderful. Go glorify God with your lives. Amen. Draw a mind, glad tidings of.
Oh, my.